I like Peter Opio because I know if you enter, Nigeria will change. Our sovereignty is not too much. I know say Peter Opio because he no proud, he no do anything. He does say if you like vote me, if you like no people, no people are too noble article. Whether they say Nala, by far by force I must enter. So I want me Peter Opio enter. And to everyone out there, don't get it twisted. We are, we are supporting PO for president is that one. P.O. is competence. P.O. is character. P.O. has everything it takes to move us forward. We ain't saying that he's going to be the Messiah. Like someone said that nobody is going to save Nigeria, but P.O. is a starting point for where we want to go. I'm just this young girl in this country that has her own business and has dreams and ambition. And I really, really, really want them to happen in my country. I don't see anything against anything wrong with, with that. Anyone against that, the likes of people that said we should vote based on tribe, based on religion, Nigeria's democracy is bound to grow. This is 23 years since the beginning of the Fourth Republic. We can't go on based, voting based on bias. Please, let's do better. Let's vote competence. Let's vote credibility, legitimacy. I've read the manifesto and I can tell you for one thing, only even the wages system economy that is proposing can help us solve. Why do you think a whole lot of youth Jackpa? I don't want to leave my country. What's going happen? I just want to achieve my dreams. Yeah. So if I can make money on hourly basis, on daily basis, please, not the 30,000 30, minimum wage, I can buy a bag of rice. Please, let's stop. Mm, thank God we have option now. Not like previous time, I have two, uh, two bad eggs, but now we have option. As I say, it's a bit of a God sent to us because among all the three candidates, and among all the four candidates I know that are very popular in Nigeria, he's the one that has no stain. If you can imagine, I come outside and say, go to Anambra State. If there's any way you find debts that is to Anambra Kobo, not, not thousand million, Kobo, prove me and I'll stop campaigning. Nobody, nobody for four months, nobody ever come out to, to, to hold him wrong. And secondly, he's the man of people, the man that has the more, the vibrant man that can take us to the next level. He's not the Messiah, but he's going to try. I stand. He don't do it in one day, in one, in one day alone, but he's going to try to change some things. If you are out there and you are not decided, an undecided voter, a silent voter, and you have not joined this movement, please join. You don't want your kids to watch in the next 20 years what you did. What you did. Please, do the best thing. Do the right things. Please, don't vote based on personal interest, personal bias. Enough is enough. Nigeria can touch anybody. The victim card is going around. The people living in the north are not better than you. The people that have lost family, family, family members and friends are not better than you. It can get to the southwest, it can get anywhere. We are here in Lagos here today and we are about, we are just out here to support our, His Excellency Peter Obi. And by God's grace, victory is ours. People that are living abroad, abroad is not better than Nigeria. So Peter Obi is laying this foundation for us that one day we shall be victorious in Nigeria. That is what I'm supporting Peter Obi. And I'm very proud to support Peter Obi. Obi forever, that is our president. The reason why I'm supporting Peter Obi is because he's the right person to make this country a better place. Look around, you will see that uh, a lot has happened in this country. Killing and everything, the economic and everything is going down. The, 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 the party on seat, they keep on lying and lying and lying that uh, we are doing the great things and all that. Meanwhile, the country is crashing. And the other candidate that come outside, uh, I see that Obi has what it takes to make this country a great again. It's not because he's an evil man. No, this is not ethnicity stuff. Peter Obi is a man that can unite the country. Haven't seen in the in the past years we have we have we have a lot of ethnic ethnicity issues, divisions among us, tribalisms. So Peter Obi is a candidate it's coming for all Nigerians. So that's why I'm supporting Peter Obi. And also, Peter Obi will move our economy to the better level. He's the man that can hear to the people, to hear the voice of the people. He's not the kind of person that will hear the voice of the youth, especially, and he will keep quiet. He's the man that's ready to listen to anybody at any time. He said, call on me anytime if there is anything. And he's, he's ready to be there to hear our our call anytime we call him. To say that P2B is not a fresh, a breath of fresh air is, is just somebody deceiving himself. Since his emergence in the political arena, there is, there is seemingly a breath of fresh air. And I can tell you, anybody who is in this country who is telling you otherwise, the person is not a Nigerian, 
the person is not a patriotic Nigerian. If you are a patriotic Nigerian, you drop everything you are doing and come out and support P2B. I just want a better Nigeria. And Nigeria will be great again. God bless Nigeria.